It's the 31st of May, 2024. And on the walk of my dog, there she is, resting up. It's a boiling hot day, so I picked a little space to sit down in the sunshine, get a bit of vitamin D. But, uh, just an update, I'm uh, still on the carnivore diet. I tried the potatoes, I was eating that for a long time, but um, it doesn't seem to be that great for me at all. Not feeling better with it. Maybe I was eating too much, I'm not sure, but um, anyway, I'm still not right. I'm still got all my symptoms, my bad symptoms, and uh, the main thing is I keep getting ill. If I overdo myself, physical, any physical activity, and I get this illness comes on me, or I get just really ill, aching all over, um, bad joints, muscle aching, brain fog, extreme brain fog, unable to think clearly. Uh, I seem to be like mixing up my words a lot and can't remember names you know, when I'm talking to people. Losing track of where I am mid-sentence. It's, uh, I'm not sure whether, well, because I was drinking coffee the other day. Maybe it's made me a bit worse, I'm not sure, but uh, I'm going to see the doctor today. Because <clears throat> I was, I've also got a pain in my right calf muscle, which comes on when I exercise. You know, if I do too much walking, if I overdo it, daily activities, like, which is not a lot really, hardly anything can set me off if I just do a bit too much. But there always this pain in my right calf, so I was looking up pain in the right calf, and I was looking up like the brain fog and getting forgetful and everything. Why, why do I get to, eh, I think I was looking up um, exercise intolerance. What causes this? What uh, what can I have wrong with me? And it turns out then I, I stumbled upon ME CFS. CFS is uh, chronic fatigue syndrome. And uh, I was looking up about that and then I did a search and I found a video about it with Carnival. There's a few people we're doing really good. I put a, a link to one of these in this video. Dave Mack, she was, she was really good, she was, this girl. And uh, I just thought, I'm going to delve into this proper. So I went into looking for the UK, as many sites I could, trying to find out what I, what I got in it. Yeah, chronic fatigue syndrome, I dismissed that because years ago, when I was like, I was quite fit, I was taking part in cycle races and I was I was doing well, I was doing quite a bit of mileage and I liked hill climbing, so a lot of ascent. And uh, I was getting ill all the time. Whenever I trained too hard, too much sprinting, every time I was racing I was getting ill. And it wasn't just normal tiredness, because I'd been like, like a cyclist for years. I, I did pretty well when I was younger. I know what tiredness is. This was like oh, extreme pain all over the body, like oh, sickness. I was in bed for days sometimes and being sick with bile. It was taking me like a few days to recover after races and I wasn't able to even do any cycling till like the day before the race. I just do a short ride. And then for some reason I was I was managing to recover. So it was a race every week. But uh, of course I dismissed chronic fatigue fit syndrome because I, I was doing quite a, quite a bit of mileage. Now if I won racing, I won't get an ill. If I won't push myself too hard, I won't get an ill. So I dismissed that. So I think I've come across this a few times and I thought, no, I've dismissed that. So I wasn't really looking back into it, but now, like it's been eight years 
since I've, uh, I got really ill and I, I quit the cycling. I got cancer of the tongue and uh, anemia and low thyroid and all sorts went wrong with me at once. Numbness in the, my legs and my arms. But uh, I finally come back to this and I looked, searched all the websites for UK, also some American and Canada, Australia, all different expert sites, health authorities and everything. And uh, I looked up all the symptoms. And uh, one of the main things I found was that uh, the chemical sensitivity, like smells are always making me ill. I can be having a great day and then a smell can set me off. Like any type of smells, perfume smells, petrol smells, diesel smells, cooking smells. If, if someone cooking with oil, I think I'm getting bitten. Cooking with oil or something in the family and, it's, you know, the house is filling up with smoke. Olive oil was a bad one. I get ill and then the, when I get ill, I get a headache. The confusion, that would start. The brain fog would start. And then uh, stomach problems then, I'd get a bad stomach and I'd, I'd, I'd sometimes have to go to the toilet, diarrhoea, just from smelling the wrong thing. So I found out chemical sensitivity is part of the symptoms. So I went through all the symptoms of this ME, CFS, and uh, I basically got them all. So I think I've found now what my problem could be. So, what I've done, I've, last night I've got all together, all the symptoms I could find, chronic fatigue, fitted them all in one page, oh, and I have most of them, almost all of them, printed them out. Then I found out the NICE, N-I-C-E, National Institute of whatever, guidelines for medical practitioners in the UK how to diagnose. So I found that and that, that's been introduced in October 2021. So I've added that to the file, to a file, uh, a page. And then I found uh, the university, the health board in the university where I live their recommendations to GPs, general practitioners, in the place I live. And uh, I printed them out. So I'm taking all these with me now. I've got an appointment this afternoon I booked. And uh, I joined an ME CFS forum. and giving them uh, my story there. Asked them some questions and um, basically they're saying yes, the symptoms you've got are from this CFS, chronic fatigue, ME. And, uh, you know, I'm reading about lots of doctors don't still don't take this serious. But since the COVID, long, long COVID, which is basically the same, same symptoms almost identical, long COVID. Since that, they've had to take this ME CFS more seriously. This is why I should be able to push now to get a proper diagnosis. The bad news is, you know, even if I do get the diagnosis, there's no treatment. So what I'm doing now I just have to continue. What I'm doing is I cut out all the foods that were making me really ill, which were all the vegetables and fruits. That was before carnivore. I'd basically gone carnivore before then. And uh, it's just stick to the diet, which makes you feel good, really. Like the carnivore diet. I can't eat eggs in the carnivore diet. I can't eat dairy. So I can't even eat everything on the carnivore diet. High fat seems... To not so great for me, so I'm high protein. That seems better for me. But anyway, 
my daily activities it is involves not getting ill. I don't want to get one of them episodes. They call them a flare up or a crash. I don't want to get one of them. That's my main mission as soon as I wake up. Stay out of anything that can cause anxiety. Don't get in any arguments with anyone. Mixing with people, I, I find hard. So I, I do tend to like stick to myself a lot because that can make me ill being in social situations. So, and trying not to do too much. If I do too much walking, I will get ill. That'll set it off. If I breathe any type of pollution, any type of smell that irritates me, I'll get ill. Vinegar's a bad one. I don't know why that upsets me. But, um, so, why I want the diagnosis is just for peace of mind. And one of the one of the things I was surprised about when I'm reading all these ME CFS symptom things, one of the symptoms is swollen lymph nodes in the neck, or painful, or tender, and under the in the armpits. Now I've had that since the cancer, since the operations, I've had them biopsies on my tongue. My lymph nodes have swelled up. They're not so bad. At the moment, they don't think. But they still pain me. If I eat the wrong foods, they pain me. When the when I suffer one of these flare-ups, that's when they ache a lot. And my armpits. Now, I've been back and forth to the doctor many times to say, what is this lymph node pain I'm getting? And it's one of the symptoms. I found with the ME, CFS, so I'm going to push it now. There's too many symptoms, is exact, exactly what happens to me. And I can, you know, depending on how ill I can get with a flare-up, it can be, like, mild, it can be moderate, it can be, like, a severe flare-up. And severe ones are, like, it just... I'm in agony, my body. I stiffen, I seem to stiffen up, everything's aching. Sometimes I can be vomiting and headache, headaches from hell. I'm just unable to do anything, extreme exhaustion. Like, you just don't want to go walking, nothing. Just need to keep resting all the time. So, uh, I'm going to go there today. And I'm going to have a chat. I'm going to print out all the things I've got. The, uh, especially the NICE recommendations. To make sure that she's following them. When she uh, diagnoses me, I'm going to leave, leave them with her. I'm showing her all the symptoms on it. I'll try and go through them over there, but I know what they're like. It'll be only just 10 minutes. They don't even want to be talking for long, they don't. But uh, is it going to be just a futile thing? Because I've, I've give, basically given up on doctors. That's all the doctors ever do for me, I've ever done. Especially as new doctors I'm going to is just offer me medications. That's it. And I've told them I can't take medications. It's another thing which makes me feel ill. And again, when I'm looking up the ME CFS symptom lists, medication sensitivity is in it. Light sensitivity. Noise sensitivity at my worst. Noise and light. Oh, when I got them on the medics, you just. Whew. Today I'm not so bad, which is strange. Well, it's not really because the wind's blowing from the north, which is like from Iceland way. It's fresh air coming in my boat that way, where I live. Over that way is a steelworks, and if it blows from south east, I think it is. That gets me up too. Anyway, me and my dog now. We're going to go back home. Give me some water when we get back now. She must be hot. Boiling, I am. So, uh, that's it. That's my update for now. I'm back on the full carnival at the moment. Giving up the potatoes. 100% carnival. Eating about 1,300 grammage of 
minced beef a day, really, and, and liver. I got liver and that. I'll have about 100 grams of liver a day at the minute. And that's another thing I want to go to the doctor. So I'll get the blood test because I've been on this liver for a while. Cut a lot of it. And I want to see if my B12 has gone up. I'm hoping it's going to be. I'd be really happy if it's gone up to like seven, eight hundred. If it was a thousand, I'd be ecstatic. And uh, my folate was previously low by one, just one number. I think it was 18 is the like, minimum, which would be okay. And I was like 17, something like that. And it's folate in liver and potatoes. So I'm hoping my folate levels up as well. Cause that, they will, want, they will want to look at that to rule out anything other. So let's hopefully she's going to put me through all the tests to rule out ME CFS. And then uh, I'll let her know how it gets on when the results come in. Or if she diagnoses me today, I might let her know today. So that's it for now. I'll keep you informed. Like the video if you liked it and leave a comment if you have any questions. And follow me if you want to keep up with my journey, which I'm not going to stop. I've got to keep on trying. Thanks for watching. Catch you soon. Bye for now.